Good morning, folks. Kwanzaa here. So I am having like a zillion things I'm working on this morning. And I figured I would do a uh, recording while I was working just to kind of bring you guys up to speed on some stuff. I actually hijacked Babe's office this morning because when I get in my office, I think I get way too comfortable. And I think I spend too much time diddly daddling around. And so I figured I'd be in because this office is not that comfortable for me, obviously, because it's not my natural habitat. Um, but in my office, like I have a couch, so I'll lay back and, you know, get way too comfortable. So um, in order for me to actually get some stuff done, I figured I would come in his office and try to get some stuff done. But I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on some of the things that I'm working on. Um, uh, so this morning I actually was um, researching. It's never too early to plan for Girlfriend Therapy Conference. So this morning I was researching some of the potential speakers for um, the 2017 conference. And so um, that's been really interesting. Um, just, uh, you know, hearing the stories of different women and things like that. And, and just praying and seeing how the Holy Spirit leads. Um, but I've been doing that most of the morning. Uh, some of the other things that I am doing is, um, so with the healing circle, I of course have been trying to get that back in, in, in rotation. Um, and there were, there are several reasons why I'm not just jumping at it. Um, one, I think that reason, one reason was, um, a venue and, but I think I've kind of come down to some resolution or some solution for the venue because I've talked with a couple of pastors who have, um, offered to, uh, to, to allow me to use their space, you know? Um, and so that is, uh, so that was one of the reasons why I was kind of hesitating or just kind of taking my time, not so much hesitating, but taking my time, um, with getting the healing circle back into rotation is because just trying to find the right venue space. Um, and then the second part about it was that the healing circle, when I offered it before was a 12 week session. It was 12 week sessions. And so now I'm trying to cut it down to about eight weeks. And so I have to re, um, I guess rework the curriculum, um, so that it can be, uh, it'll fit more in an eight week session. So just kind of re looking at it and seeing what I can pull out, um, you know, what I need to keep, but then also pull, put packaging it together in such a way that it can be, um, so I can send it through the, uh, um, um, what is the word, Lord Jesus? I want to say trademark, but that's not the word. Copyright. Um, so they can be, you know, become proprietary, uh, specific to um, girlfriend therapy ministry. And um, and so that, you know, be it'll be copywritten and all that stuff. And so that it couldn't be used or taken and used in part or whatever. Um, so I'm working on that. And once I get those two or that final piece together, really, because um, I think once I get the curriculum together, the part about getting it through the uh, tr uh, copyright system will be easy. So once I even get the curriculum together from a 12 week to an eight week session, then I can kind of, you know, kind of kick it into gear. Um, another thing that I'm working on concerning girlfriend therapy, as you guys know, we have, um, uh, have been approved as a 501c3 uh, organization. And so now I'm looking at how do we go to the next level? What is Girlfriend Therapy Ministry, you know, next level or 2.0, if you will? And so one of the things that I'm planning to help me get there, at least help me start thinking in those terms, is a brand summit. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but my background is public relations, marketing, advertising. And so... Um, or my academic background. And so I'm looking to start looking at the brand that is Girlfriend Therapy. I never really talk terms of brand because it's always about the ministry. Um, but I think the ministry and the branding goes hand in hand um, because I think there has to be some kind of synchronization between the two. And so, and, and, and a, um, a conscious effort to make that synchronization. And I think although for the past seven years, we've been able to kind of, you know, make that connection. I think a conscious effort to do that would be uh, very beneficial to, you know, the next, to the ministry getting to that next level. And so the brand summit, I'm in a process of planning that, which I'm hoping to do um, mid September, perhaps. Uh, but my September is quickly filling up. So I need to do that sooner rather than later. But that's something that is I need to get on a schedule. And the idea is to really invite women, just a small group of women um, and maybe men as well. You know, people who or women in particular who have uh, come to girlfriend therapy events, who have been, you know, participating in girlfriend therapy, women who have there are women who've come from the beginning, you know, women who come to not just the, um, the, the, the conference, but come to the forums. And, you know, so just to kind of get these women's ideas and thoughts uh, or these women ideas and thoughts 
um, on the ministry and how they see it, how they've seen it grow and what things about the ministry really resonate with them and just different things like that. So there'll be, you know, a series of brainstormy kind of sessions and, um, you know, just be a few hours and just really kind of coming together. Um, so it'll be catered and all of that wonderful stuff. But like I said, it's going to be a small group. I'm looking maybe 10 to 12 people. Um, just a small group to bring together, you know, people who have, like I said, participated in girlfriend therapy on various levels, but then also people who have that kind of marketing, advertising, brand management kind of uh, background who could really help me think through some of the nuances of branding. And so that's one of the next steps. There are a lot of things that in the back of my head, um, but I'm going to take them in pieces and steps and chunks. So I'm not going to go too far in the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the vault <laughs> to kind of dump everything, but that's one of the immediate things that I'm looking to do. Um, one of the other things I'm super excited about is that, um, I've just, I've talked with a young lady who is interested in, in doing my social media management, which is an awesome thing. I've been looking for something like that. If anybody's worked with me, you know, it's kind of difficult for me to let go. And, um, most times I just want to be hands-on with everything, um, but I'm learning, I'm learning to let go and I'm learning to, uh, allow people who want to help. I'm learning to allow people to help, um, and to have someone to do brand management is like huge. So I'm super excited about that or social media management. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, the next thing is girlfriend therapy book. I have been talking about this book for at least a year. And although I have a lot of content, um, I just need to package it and put it together and lay it out and all of that. And, and it's crazy because I, I I'm realizing that I, I may need, <laughs> um, an editor. I may need to work with an, not an, I guess an editor, uh, someone to help me, um, put the book together, like deep editing, help me to package the book, help me to uh, lay out the book and all of that. Um, and I, and it's crazy because I didn't anticipate that. I thought that, you know, I'm a writer. I've written two books already. I should be able to write this third book, but I didn't anticipate um, the time and, and how the blur, the lines blur so much, you know, so from being a, a publisher and being um, an editor and being, um, uh, you know, a writing coach and how all of that is really taken away from me getting into my own writing projects. And so I think I may need some outside influence to help me complete a writing project. So like who would have thought? Um, so that's one of the things that I'm kind of anticipating because I really want to finish this book this year. And like I said, although I have tons of content, I just need the time and the uh, bandwidth mentally to be able to just package it the way that it needs to be packaged. Um, and so Girlfriend Therapy book, translate or uh, rolls me into first use publishing uh, because of course there are things on the publishing side or first use publishing business side that I'm working through as well you know working with my attorney to upgrade my contracts um, work with my attorney to um, upgrade the services contracts so you know that they are uh, uh, more accurate more fair uh, not just for me as a publisher or not just the author but for me as a publisher as well um, and, and the writing coach or whatever services that we're working together on so I'm super excited about that um, and then also this is like a first hurt and um, I, I, I was actually watching this show and I seen this young lady I thought was absolutely gorgeous and the first thing that popped in mind is that man I think she would really bring my character Kay to life if you guys have read my first book No Greater Love then you would be familiar with the character character Khadijah Ali who you know who I, I call Kay um, and I just thought man she would be awesome to to play this character and so my thoughts were or are to reach out to maybe her management I don't know how this whole thing works but to reach out to her management and say hey I want to send this book I think this would make a great movie I don't know you know what it would be I'm not going to mention the actress name because I don't know because um, I've not reached out to her management yet but that's one of the other things that's kind of I'm kind of working on in my mind so that will be a you know transition from first use publishing into you know perhaps first fruits uh, productions or something like that dreaming big and trusting God for the, uh, you know, for the manifestation of that dream. So that's something I'm super excited about. And in fact, that's one of the things I have to do today is try to find out who this actress, who her manager is and um, send, you know, send an email or whatever the best way to correspond with them um, and just kind of, you know, plant that seed and see what happens. Um, a couple of new ventures that I'm working on. I think I'll just talk about a couple of them. Um, and I'm looking around because I have paper of stuff everywhere. Um, but one of the ventures that I am working on is going back to school. So 
I have been accepted into a uh, second master's program, and it is a master's in ministry. And so I'm excited about it, uh, very nervous about it because it's such a financial commitment. Um, but again, trusting God for the resources to uh, that he will provide. And so even looking within my own household, um, because again, you know, I've mentioned before doing things debt free. And so to pay for a second master's degree, uh, completely debt free, you know, just really, truly trusting God for the financial resources to be able to do that. Um, and, I, and I'm not super worried because I see areas where we are, um, where a lot of money is going and, and, and maybe we can kind of refilter or refocus those dollars um, into this degree program. But the degree program I'm super excited about because I initially wanted to go into a doctoral degree program. And once I reached out to the university, um, uh, my background, my educational background is in communication, specifically public relations, marketing, advertising. And um, so when I reached out to the university that I was interested in, they said, well, you would need a master's degree in um and ministry before you can go into the PhD program, which I was kind of bummed about, but you know, I kind of get it. So, um, uh, so I was bummed, but now I've bounced back. So now I'm just trying to do what I need to do to get the master's degree. And once I get the master's degree, because it's such a long program, I'm not convinced that I want to go into a PhD program, but once I finish, I will still be, I will be positioned to do the PhD program if in fact I desire to go that far. Um, so that's a great opportunity. And so I will round it up because that opportunity opens the door or um, will help to solidify another thing that God is calling me to do. And it's amazing because I had the unction in my spirit years ago to do this. And I've had the opportunity here recently to, um, to kind of see what it would look like. And that what I am talking about is a consulting group. And so, like I said, my background is in communication. So this is a Christian communications and consulting group. And so what I will be doing under this business umbrella is uh, working to uh, support ministries and helping ministries that are growing and trying to grow and helping ministries with, with brand management, helping ministries with media relations, with uh, public relations, with their communications, uh, working with them in image management, conflict resolution, um, just all kind of uh, business type development uh, counsel, consulting. And so I'm super excited about that. And what makes me so excited about it is the fact that I get to now bring the culmination of everything that I've been able to do over my uh, 20 plus year career, um, probably longer than that, actually, if I include, you know, the military experience, but not even if, if I didn't include the military experience part, but the fact that I got to work in promotions for the WB, the fact that I got to work in public relations for um, a big Department of Defense agency, the fact that I get to do ministry under the umbrella of girlfriend therapy, um, the fact that I have an academic background, both undergrad and graduate in public relations, communications, advertising. And then on top of that, the icing on the cake is to have a second master's degree in, um, in ministry. So um, I'm excited. You know, I, I, I was just telling my husband the other day, you guys know his birthday was recent. And I was just telling him the other day, I was like, I need to get my life together before October the 5th, which is my birthday. And so I think as I take steps, baby steps to, you know, put things out there and, you know, kind of see uh, how they unfold and what, how they manifest, um, then, you know, we'll, we'll get there. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, that's really it. Those are the things that I'm working on in 2000, you know, 16, uh, on this first day of August. So uh, I just wanted to share, you guys see, I talked the whole time. I didn't do a thing. So my plan was to record while I work, but I just talked the whole time. So, um, but I just wanted to share with you guys. These are the awesome things that I am doing. You know, got first few publishing stuff I'm working on girlfriend therapy stuff working on. Um, you know, new ventures that I'm working on, both in academia and business. So always excited about that. So uh, that is it. I think I have covered it all. Now it's time to actually get to work and do some work because as you guys see, I'm going to be busy. So blessings to you guys. Love you all dearly. Thanks so much for allowing me to interrupt your day. And until my next video, I bid you guys God's best blessings. So blessings.